Devil May Cry 5 is getting great reviews. It just released and people are loving the game itself, saying that it's a true Devil May Cry experience. But if you're a PlayStation 4 user, you might have just gotten your hopes and dreams crushed. So there is already a patch 1.1 for Devil May Cry 5, besides the day one patch like every game lately seems to have. And if you download it, it censors a few scenes of the game. Now, if you have the physical version, you can always delete the patch, but if you're someone that bought it digitally, well, you, you can't delete patches, unfortunately. That's why I personally hate to purchase digital. It's just another reason to add to the pile of why I don't purchase digitally. And all of the versions of the game did have this update, but on devices like the Xbox and PC, Microsoft didn't choose to censor the game. It was Sony's doing, the fabulous Sony. So if you've watched reviews on the game, none of those reviewers were able to talk about it. People like Yong Ya, for instance. I always look at his videos when it comes to reviews, especially for a game like Devil May Cry 5, since he is such a fan of the Devil May Cry series. But people like him that uh, got to review it before the game released, they didn't get to voice their opinions on it being censored, which makes this so unfair to the audiences that listen to people and listen to voices of influencers online before purchasing their games, really trying to get their opinions on it. It's as if they know in these cases that reviewers would speak up against the censored scenes and then possibly change their minds on the game. So that's why they ended up releasing it after the... People completed their pre-orders, the reviews went up, and the game was already in a huge chunk of the players' hands because they knew as soon as they censored it, as soon as this patch went up, there would be problems and people would automatically have issues with this. So I'm not going to tell you in which scenes were censored and the context of the scenes. Obviously, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but I am going to show the picture in just a second, so please look at your own risk. The lights are blinding, but seriously, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but you will probably get a little bit of a spoiler from this image. Well, there's one of the images. I'm not going to show all of the images because this has happened in several cases in the game, but you get the gist of the lights. You understand at this point uh, the lights and how Sony appreciates the lights. And there you go, the lights of doom and death. I was so disappointed when I saw this. Everything was looking so great for Devil May Cry 5 until this happened. Now, it's not Capcom's fault, I'm going to assume. I actually was wondering if they did this, maybe to leave a little bit to the imagination, since that's not unheard of. A lot of companies do leave up to the imagination in specific scenes like this, you know, get you a little excited, get you to want to play the game more. Now, one of the huge problems that I have here, and with most games that end up receiving some form of censorship, is the fact that they're almost all 17 and up games. Devil May Cry 5 is a rated M game. Why do we need censorship? That is the part that gets me in these situations. You have to show an ID to purchase this game. You have to be an adult to purchase this game. It's not like 14 year olds can walk into a GameStop and pick it up and purchase it. Even though GameStop won't be around much longer because they're kind of a dying company. Even so, do you know what they show on TV for younger audiences? Besides all of the hidden jokes and the hidden imagery that's been around for many, many years, since the beginning of things like cartoons, I'm sure that they've seen a digital pixelated butt before. E even if you have games like this, like The Witcher, on your platforms, and they're not censored, so why is it that a new title like this has to receive censorship in order to be on your platform. You know, this game has plenty of gore and violence in it, so I don't understand the mentality behind it. I, I just don't. Maybe I'm naive, maybe I'm a little blind to it, but I just don't understand it. This game has everything else. Why is a partially nude scene and so, so inappropriate? And then I looked at the ESRB rating just to make sure that it said partially nude. Just to make sure. I love to cross my T's and dot my I's. And I saw this. It says, some female characters are depicted partially nude with their breasts and buttocks, <laughs> buttocks, minimally covered by blood, light, or clothing. So I started going down the rabbit hole of the ESRB. I started looking up 
every single game that was like around me like all of my all of my games that are sitting next to me games that i have on steam games that i've talked about here on the channel that have received censorship and i looked at about 30 or so games i've talked about here on the channel games that i had just out of curiosity and that, that you know that ended up censored or had some sort of issue in those regards and some that even didn't and quite a lot of them actually said things like this senra and kagura burst renewal this game so on so forth so I found that that was actually pretty interesting. That is something I definitely will keep my eye on from now in regards to new releases. I don't know if they... I've never really looked so much into the ESRB, but now I definitely am. I don't know if they put up their... Um, their ratings beforehand i'm pretty sure that they do but do they have the description of the game beforehand would it say that it's being censored beforehand also it says that this is happening but it's not happening on every platform so that makes me also wonder i have to look more into it but i actually didn't know that they did this and i actually tweeted it on twitter I wanted to see your reactions because maybe it was just me that maybe I forgot about it. Maybe I have overlooked it for a while and you all are shocked. Almost none of you guys actually realized that the ESRB did this and it said straight up that things like this could actually be minimally covered by blood, light, or clothing. That it says that some scenes are receive censorship, but I am going to put my tweet in the description. Please please, I don't usually ask you guys to do things, but please retweet it because this is important. If you are a fan of games that receive censorship on the regular, this is definitely going to help everyone just have a more transparent view of games and hopefully we can actually see when things like this are said before the games actually come out. But other than that, Devil May Cry 5 is receiving censorship by Sony right now. It is not by any Microsoft devices. You all will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm very sad to hear about this. I love the Devil May Cry series and I was really sad to hear about this. I know a lot of people downloaded this patch and then realized that this was happening. And I've been looking into it since yesterday, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Please make sure to go and check out that tweet, retweet it, comment on it, even say hi. I mean, I'm always around to say hi, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys again in the next one really soon.